I rise to make a brief statement on the statements by ministers. Mr. Speaker, you will recall that in the previous sitting, on the 15th of November 2017, I reported to this Honorable House that it had come to my attention that the member for number six, the Honorable, the Right Honorable, Dr. Denzel Douglas, had held and used a passport for another state, a foreign state. I had indicated that this was of deep concern, grave concern to me and to members of the public. Many citizens had made an outcry along those lines. I'd like to report that having had advice from senior counsel on this matter, the Office of the Attorney General gave instructions to institute legal proceedings in this matter. And so yesterday on the 22nd of January, a fixed date claim form was filed in the registry, the High Court registry, to initiate a matter to get the court to make certain declarations and findings. And with your leave, Mr. Speaker, I would want to read into the record of this House certain aspects of that fixed date claim form. The claim form is numbered number 8 of 2018 and it's a matter of an application by the Attorney General of St. Chris pursuant to section 36 of the Constitution of St. Christopher Nevis and to section 12 of the National Assembly Elections Act Cap 2.01. And the matter between the Attorney General of St. Christopher Nevis, claimant, and Dr. Denzel Douglas, defendant. The fixed date claim form states, the claimant, the Attorney General of St. Christopher Nevis, Ministry of Legal Affairs, Government Headquarters, Church Street, Marcia St. Kitts, claims against the defendant, Dr. Denzel Douglas, of Main Road, St. Paul's Village, Parish of St. Paul, in the island of St. Kitts, pursuant to section 36.1d and 4 of the Constitution of St. Kitts and Nevis, and section 12, subsection 1, subsection d, and 4 of the National Assembly Elections Act, the following relief. One, a declaration that since the election to the National Assembly on February 16th, 2015, Dr. Denzel Douglas became disqualified from being elected as a member of the National Assembly and was accordingly 
required to vacate his seat in the National Assembly by reason of his becoming a person who, by virtue of his own act, in accordance with the law of the Commonwealth of Dominica, under an acknowledgement of allegiance, obedience, or adherence to a foreign power or state, namely the said Commonwealth of Dominica. Two, a declaration that Dr. Denzel Douglas has vacated his seat in the National Assembly of St. Kitts has vacated his seat in the National Assembly of St. Kitts and Nevis. Three, an injunction restraining Dr. Denzel Douglas from taking his seat in the National Assembly and from performing his functions as a member thereof. Four costs and five. Such further or and or other relief as this honorable house, as this honorable court, beg your pardon, may deem just and expedient. Mr. Speaker, there are a number of grounds on which the relief is claimed. One, the defendant is an elected member of the National Assembly of St. Kitts and Nevis, having been elected to represent the constituency of St. Christopher No. 6 in the general election held on February 16, 2015. The defendant is a citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis. Two, on July 30th, 2015, the defendant was issued a diplomatic passport number DP 00004062 by the Commonwealth of Dominica, which recorded him as being a citizen of Dominica. This is borne out by a certi certificate of exhibits that was filed among the papers at the court. The law I beg your pardon. The said passport is stated to be valid until July 29th, 2020. On April 23rd, 2016, the defendant, Dr. Douglas, left the jurisdiction of Sankis and Nevis by air utilizing the said Dominican passport. The law number four, the law of Dominica requires all citizens to swear an oath of allegiance upon being registered as a citizen. Five, by the common law of Dominica, a person who possesses and or travels on a Dominican passport is under acknowledgement of allegiance to Dominica. Six, section 28, subsection one, of the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, the Constitution, and Section 6 of the National Assembly Act, the Act, both provide that, and I quote, a person 
shall not be qualified to be elected or appointed as a member if he a is by virtue of his own act under any acknowledgement of allegiance obedience or adherence to a foreign power or state mr speaker number 7 continues section 31 subsection 3 of the constitution provides and i quote 3 an elected or appointed member shall also vacate the seat in the assembly c subject to subsection 4 if any other circumstances arise that if he were not a member would cause him to be disqualified to be elected or appointed as such by virtue of subsection 1 of section 28 or of any law enacted in pursuance of subsection 2 subsection 3 or subsection 5 of that section eight mr speaker in the premises since the election to the national assembly the defendant dr denzel douglas became disqualified from being elected as a member of the national assembly and was accordingly required to vacate his seat in the national assembly by reason of his becoming a person who by his, by virtue of his own act is in accordance with the law of the commonwealth of dominica under an acknowledgement of allegiance obedience or adherence to a foreign power or state namely the said commonwealth of dominica and finally section 9 of the fixed date claim form states in the further premises upon his acknowledgement of allegiance to the commonwealth of dominica the defendant was required to and did in law vacate his seat in the national assembly this mr speaker was filed in the high court registry yesterday monday 22nd of january at 11 35 a.m mr speaker process servers have been instructed to serve these documents these documents that have been filed and issued by the court on the member number six i have yet to be informed that he has been located so that such service can be done one would expect that this would happen sometime today or tomorrow it is important mr speaker that we understand that this is a very serious matter which we have attended the high court for the court to determine the eligi eligibility of the member of number six to continue to sit as a member of this honorable house may it please you mr speaker stay up to date with news programs and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud.
follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.